Hello, good day, and welcome back. Today we're going to be starting with JavaScript. So this is section one and in chapter five, JavaScript. Now the number 25, that should be right, but I still playing with numbering. Okay, um, you can see here, what we're going to do is we're going to use our browser to go and download Node.js and install it. So here I am, I'm going to start out in Windows. And just in case you're wondering why I'm using Node.js, well, JavaScript is a more, not a full traditional programming language, like let's say C or C++ or Java. And don't let the name JavaScript fool you because there's really no relationship between JavaScript the language and Java the language. But nonetheless, it's called JavaScript. And it's mostly for the browser, but that's been changing. And that's one of the reasons why we're going to use Node.js because Node.js is this application that runs on your desktop, but it allows you to actually run JavaScript, the language that was intended for the web browser, on your desktop and servers. And so we're gonna see how this comes in handy. So here we're gonna get the latest version of Node.js by going to nodejs.org, with your web browser, download the latest version. And then uh, when it's finished, I'm gonna click the button here to install it. Um, the installation is going to be the similar for the Mac users. Um, Linux users, you have a couple of options. And since you're using Linux, I'm not going to go into it. Um, but so I'm just going to run it and install it. Again, Mac and Linux users, you guys are going to know how to install this. Go to the website and follow the instruction. Um, I'm going to leave it at add to path. Um, so when I open up a command line, I can have access to it. I'm going to let the package manager install. Um, I don't care about the documentation, but you're free to leave the default. Click next, install, and you might have to type your admin password um, just because, you know, Windows if you're not the admin user, but that's okay and it's ex expected. So then um, accept, you know, condition and you're done, finish. Then um, the other thing I want to do is test and verify my installation. So I'm going to open up a command prompt and I'm just going to type a simple math expression and to verify that Node.js is installed and working correctly. So let me fire it up here. i use the command line, dash prompt in Windows. And I type node, enter. I get that prompt that is a little angle bracket. So if you get that, then it's installed, it's working. I don't, really don't need to do anything else, but I'm gonna type a simple expression. Uh, I set up something one plus two, and just to verify that, yep, then you get three. And then we can even type like, you know, console.log and print hello world if we like. And that should also work. So this is all JavaScript, by the way. We're gonna learn more about that in the next video. And so now I can exit. Now to exit the node from the command line, I can type Control C. Um, and I'll type it twice, and there you go. That's it. And so we've successfully installed and then demonstrated that Node.js is installed and working. Okay. Um, if you're in Mac and Linux, again you go to this website and you follow the instruction. All right. Bye. See ya.